evening. Hello YouTube, how are you doing? Good? Bad? Uh, first of all, thank you for joining me. It is Sunday, it's bank holiday weekend and um, of course it's raining because we're in England and that's what happens. Yay! So, um, poor Mr Dory couldn't take Sammy, our dog, out or Samson. Mm. If he, Sunday gets his full name, if he's naughty. But he's never naughty, he's lovely. Um, couldn't take him out right till probably about an hour ago because it's just the rain and we got caught in a hailstorm yesterday. <coughs> Excuse my voice, I'm like, uh, at the minute. <clears throat> so yeah, when we come back from the doctors, you know, when you look up at the sky and it's black and you think, it's really, really dark in here. <laughs> and it just went <sighs> gigantic, like, well, they weren't that big. I know people exaggerate about the size of things, but no, no, no. They weren't that big. They were about, probably about that big. Hailstones were going <laughs> sideways. I was like, ah. I was on both my crutches and oh my gosh, please just don't let me fall or slip or whatever. Um, luckily, I didn't. That's so okay. Um, so, yes. Um, what was I going to say? I've completely forgotten. Oh, yeah. That's it. Drum roll, please. We are having our first official roast dinner since last winter. Because it's just miserable. It's horrible weather. We're having roast chicken. Um, um, I don't mind roast beef, but I don't like... I can't bear I can't stand lamb and... Mm, pork at a push but um, I'm, I really love chicken big big chicken fan um, so yeah roast chicken with all the veg and stuff um, and then I think we're having something really naughty for dessert like um, a huge piece of treacle sponge and custard mm, absolutely I'm feeling that way out today you know when you just want comfort food and you think what can I have Something stodgy, so that's what we're going to do. So, Mr. Dory's cooking, or Marlin, uh, Nemo's in his room. Floor, 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 floor. I've managed to get her acrylics off. Sarah B, if you watch this, I did it properly. I used proper grade um, acetone, lint free squares, and foil. Okay, did it properly and very, very gently removed. Well, we buffed the nail first, take the the, sh the top coat off, the shine off, um, and as much colour as we could get off. Um, but she'd had them on for quite a while, and then infills as well. So it was like, like a double whammy. Um, so yeah, we managed to get them off, or most of them off. Uh, her nails are so sore, as are mine. Um, we have actually complained to the manager. I know her, the manager of the salon, and it's really sad. I'm sure lots of you ladies out there can probably relate to having a bad nail experience. There's nothing worse because if you look at mine now, if I bring them close to you, I mean, there's no shine on there at all. And mine actually just pinged off. But my nail is so dehydrated now. Um, luckily, I have got some uh, cuticle oil. And now that I can actually touch my nails again, which I couldn't at first, it's taken two weeks, maybe. Yeah, nearly two weeks since they came off, since I could touch them. They were just so, so sore. So I've got some really good cuticle cream. I think Sally Hansen, I want to say. Might be wrong. It's not cream, it's the oil thick, thick, really thick, not like thin crap that just goes and runs off your fingers the minute you use it. Um, and I always use hand cream anyway. In fact, I'm using, um, I'm using it in a minute, I will tell you. Oh, it's Sanctuary. Um, you know Sanctuary? Covent Garden in San Sanctuary? Oh, it's over there. I'm not, that's why I'm looking there. I'm trying to be right. It's sort of like ultra, ultra moisturising 24 hour body butter stuff. But I use it on my hands, so I do like all my body and do my hands as well. Because you've got to remember, ladies, you've got to look after your hands because they give you away just as much as you. I mean, God, my neck. You know, when you get that. That Deirdre, Coronation Street Deirdre neck. <laughs> it's 
all like creepy and horrible. Ooh. So yeah, whatever you use on your face. Hello, Nemo. Oh, I didn't see you. No, I didn't see him. <laughs> he just snuck past that hat green. <laughs> I think you're going to the loo, bless him. But yeah, whatever um, moisturiser or anti-wrinkle cream, etc. you use on your face, always, always, always just, just bring that down and use on your neck and your, your um, you know, your, your, your delicate bit there. It's got a name, Giz of D. Can't remember it because I'm Dory. <laughs> there you go. So, um, yeah, that's I've always done that. Ooh, ever since I worked for Estee Lauder, I've done that. So, what, 20 odd years? Oh, my God, I'm showing my age now. Yeah, but, yeah, face cream is always good for the neck and, and this delicate pit here because that, that will give you away. And that will give you away just as much as the wrinkles on your face and your hands. So, whenever you do anything like that, Always give your hands a treat as well. Don't forget your hands, ladies. And your nails. Look after them. You only get one lot of hands. I mean, you know, our skin sheds every 27 to 35 days, roughly. Roughly, depending on sort of you. Everyone's different. But yeah, you get a, a new layer of such. Um, so, I know it's not as hot as it was, but still make sure you're drinking plenty of water because that's, that's a really big thing in the winter that people trip up on. In the summer, I was like, oh, God, you know, drink loads of water or loads of clear fluids, um, herbal tea or, you know, green tea, stuff like that. Green tea is really good for your metabolism. If you have um, boiled water in the morning with a slice of lemon in, that kickstarts your metabolism for the day. It's really, really good for you. So you should still hydrate even through the winter, especially through the winter because of all the wind, central heating. I mean, we've got a log burner. And as soon as that thing fires up, my face goes, <laughs> and I just like shrivel. So, and I can actually feel it. I can feel the difference. But if you want nice, plump skin that doesn't let me bring you in a bit out, I've got a sore arm today. So, do you know what I mean? Look, your skin, when you pin, do the pinch test, when you do that, it should spring back. If it doesn't, you're dehydrated but you try the back of your hand always do the back of your hand that's the best place to try if you pinch and just let go and it doesn't go whoosh, straight away then you're de you're you're okay you're sorry if it doesn't you're dehydrated so you need to drink more so with the winter weather coming make sure or the autumn which it, it's virtually here now for us it's horrible out there um <clears throat> and of course i sound oh i've got when have i got oh yeah next month i've got my intensive speech and language therapy because my reflux has done the damage to my muscles in my throat and my vocal cords and everything um so yeah just remember to, to look after yourself still in the winter and um something i've got to stop doing is that because i'm getting a i'm getting a i don't know double bum <laughs> on my head so one area that i always work on is this and if you just 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 that much power uh, pressure you don't need a lot of pressure on your face i mean there's barely any anything behind there that's just skin but um you know you can use um a nice serum will help protect your skin and i know even though it's winter make sure your moisturizer's got an spf in it because winter sun does as much damage as, as summer sun granted it's not as hot but the uva and uvb is still there still there so yeah if you want to look this good at um 43 she says pretending she looks good <laughs> yeah from now on, from the greatest showman. He's just so sweet. I know I'm biased, but he's so sweet. Anyway, loves, that's it, really, lovelies. Um, I'm just putting a different colour on my toes because I did have orange to match my nails that pinged off. Sorry, did, you, did, I, did I lose you then? <laughs> it's, like, it's a good job I didn't lose you down here, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just doing, um, I'm doing like a nice limey, green colour. Um, just the transition from orange into autumn. 
So we'll be doing sort of browns, reds, oranges, deep rusty colours now, I think. Um, the mat anyway, back to the nail nail saga. Nail saga. Oh pain pad pain patches aren't working properly anymore. <laughs> I have got to go back and see my GP in two weeks about a pain review, pain meds review, so that's fine. I need to tell him that it's mm, not working as well anymore. <laughs> Help. They do work better than the uh, morphine patches because obviously morphine's not great for me with having the sleep apnea. <clears throat> so with the respiratory thing, morphine isn't good for your respiratory system at all. So anyone that's got um, COPD and things like that, um, or what's the other one? Asthma, obviously. Oh, I can't think. I can't think of the word I want to say, but yeah, anybody with respiratory issues shouldn't be on morphine, really, ideally. And I'm not, other than the oral, which is like a little bottle now. They used to give me 400 mils. Now they give me 100 mils, and it's on repeat. And I can only have it every couple of weeks or so ish. Um, but I. I've I am needing it. I'm finding that I'm needing it at the minute. I found my nail file. I was like, where's that gone? So there's one. And then I've got this bad boy. Oh, proper, proper nail file. And I've got this one as well. Terrible. I've got a little look. I'll show you. Look. It's all. Can you see? All my crap lined up. Hang on. There you go. Hang on. Can you see it now? There's all that rubbish. It's not got everything ready. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to paint my toenails. Somebody think I was you know, manicuring the queen away. I'm going on about it. But yes, um, the lovely owner said that she's going to, sh she'll do um, a manicure for me and give me some solar oil as well, just to help get my nails back on track. And she's lovely. She's she's so upset about it. But I didn't want to flame her because that I'm not like that. It wasn't her that did my nails. It was one of her staff. And I'd rather tell her, away from public eye, um, so I messaged, I messaged her on Facebook and said, look, have you, have you got five minutes? Just need to chat. Um, I sent her pictures and stuff of, of my nails and this and the other. So yeah, um, they're going to get sorted. So hopefully I should have some sort of growth soon because you can see there's nothing there at all. And I, they didn't grow with the acrylics on, which isn't like me at all. My nails always grow. They might be a bit rubbish sometimes, but that's just down to the medication that I'm on a lot of the time um because of my pain but yeah Ugh. so that's it really i've bored you all to tears now haven't i <laughs> i will see you soon i'm going to go and have my uh dinner Look, these wafting 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 <laughs> get my toes to dry before I go down so yes lovely it's much love from me to you be nice in all that you do no no point in getting involved in anybody else's drama because let's face it we've got enough going on haven't we really so yeah <coughs> singular kiss right there i will see you soon and update you as well on the old uh, chesticle issue when i know more okie dokes thank you very much for watching have a lovely uh, rest of the bank holiday weekend i hope you get some sunshine wherever you are and i will see you soon bye let's do that again i'm gonna smash this phone up right ready one two three bye <laughs> let's see if it does it right now stupid thing bye